Hi everyone, after a long time, I'm back again. Sorry for the delay, there are a lot of things going in my life. Currently, I've joined a new organization and that takes a lot of time. So yeah, today's topic is going to be different kind of subjects. What are subjects? Why are they there? What are, can we do with them and how to use it? Let's start with our show right now. Okay, to begin with, you can watch my video where I talked about what is observable pattern and what are subjects and what are to be done with that. Subject is a way of communicating information between different components or services. You can think in that way too. So you have to communicate some information between one component to another component which is not directly linked. You can use service, put subject there and through that subject you can communicate information from one component to another which doesn't have any parent-child relationship. Subject is a part of RxJS concept. Obviously, if you have gone through my video, you will understand a little bit better what observables are and how it relates to subject. There's another video which where I talk about hot and cold observables. Please go ahead and watch those videos. And if you like this kind of video which I make, and if you want to support me, please press that like button and subscribe to this channel so that I can create more content for you. So subjects. There are four different kind of subject. We have normal subject, we have async subject, we have behavioral subject, we have replace subjects. Many people might be aware with behavioral and replace subject and normal subject, but they get confused when these questions are asked in interview. So what do I ask people in interview? When would you use a behavioral subject? Why would you use replace subject? What are those use cases? So for a normal subject, whenever a person subscribes, nothing will happen. Whenever a component subscribes to the subject, nothing will happen. Once you have subscribed to it, when your code of subscription has already run, form subject if you call dot next, all people who have subscribed, the piece of code that they have written inside subscription will be done. It's like when you subscribe, you basically tell the subject, okay, these are my observer. And whenever you call dot next internally, it will use that reference which you passed when you were subscribing to it and then call the method which you have written inside it. Basically, you are saying, I am registering myself, I am registering myself and I am registering myself. Later, when you call dot next, dot next will execute will loop through all of the people who have registered and then call their methods internally simple isn't it so now let's go to replace subject replace subject is like a subject normal subject but it has capability to replay all the things which were which you ran when you were doing dot next so consider there is a subject which you have uh, which where you pass a string and then you pass one two three as a three new strings in that if someone subscribes to it now he won't be able to receive that event at all if it was a normal subject but if it is a replace subject the person who is subscribing after the next was called that person can also execute his code it's simple replace subject will pass in old values so if you keep on doing dot next dot next dot next if someone subscribes to it he will receive all the values which were passed into it. It kind of stores all the values which was passed in past and then simply calls the, you can think internally, it will call subject.next for all of those values whenever a new person subscribes. You would require to use replace subject where you want to store the information, whatever was called in past and then whoever subscribes to it can receive all those information continuously. The replace subject was something in deep which is used to store all the information. Behavior subject is quite simple. It just stores the last information. So someone is subscribing to your subject and your subject had passed some information before. Whenever that person subscribes, he will receive the last sent information from subject when we do dot next that is a place where i mean past information whenever a person subscribes if you had passed one two three as information then the client whoever is subscribing to it will receive three even though you had passed it in past it's very difficult to understand right past in past okay but when you have sent some information in past that person will still receive the last send information so last comes async subject in async subject if you keep on passing a lot of information in that like dot next you are passing one two three whatever not if you keep on passing things well, whoever has subscribed to, to your information basically won't execute until unless you complete it once 
you write your subject dot complete all of the people who have sub subscribed to it will now execute their subscription based on the last value which was sent so it's like a behavior subject but it will execute only once when you complete the subscription so there you go these are the four types of subjects which come which will come into your life and you can reuse them in your own way think about it where you want to use all of the past information where you want to use the last send information and where you want to execute subscription only when you complete it if you are thinking in those things you will be able to use all these subscriptions thank you for watching the show thank you you are the one who kind of motivate me to make these things keep watching keep learning and see you again bye bye